Cornelius says he always knew that he and his ex-girlfriend, Antoinette, were no good for each other because they would constantly fight over cheating. But he says she crossed the line during a heated argument when she yelled that she would kill their unborn child. A couple of weeks later, Antoinette was no longer pregnant, and Cornelius believes she followed through with her threat. How old was your son when he passed away? Uh, he just really just had came out. He was, he was just I mean, born. he was cool through the whole pregnancy, so I'm not understanding how he just up and just died. I Did the him. doctors talk to you at all? No. Nobody they, talked they, to you? They didn't tell me anything. She didn't even tell me nothing. All I know is that when I was at the hospital, the baby came out with his eyes closed. You, know? you were born, you were at yeah, the hospital yeah, when he was born? I was born. there the whole time. You so know, he came on, he, he passed immediately, right? No, he's, he lived for probably about two hours. Well, that's... Close, well, yeah, yeah, immediately, but you know. Yeah. Um, what's the big deal about the STD? She's trying to say I gave it to her, and I'm like... Nothing to do with the death right. of the boy, right? It don't, that's what I'm saying. And, and she had no paperwork, no nothing on nothing. You're just going off of what a person said, and not only that, you left me upstairs asleep. So if it, if it was supposed to be some any type of uh, STD or whatever I was supposed to supposed to have did, you sat down there and you talked to these people for about 25, 30 minutes, why you leave me upstairs asleep? First of all, who discovered they had an STD first, you or her? Uh, I didn't have one, that's what I'm saying. So oh. she's just going off whatever, whoever came to knock on her door and told her that. That she had an STD. Yeah. Now she's here, you don't really believe that she did anything to harm this baby, do you? Me personally, I will hope that she didn't do that. You know, but when people say things, that's what, what the, What exactly did she say to you? Well, in the heat of an argument, she was like, man, this baby, I, I killed this baby. I drank some type of guy. I don't even know what that is, actually, to be honest with you. But that's what she said. Now, she might have said it differently, but that's how I know what she said, Castro or whatever that is. OK. All right, well, let's meet her. Here's Antoinette. You know damn well you and your family put on Facebook I don't hear that. that I killed I don't my baby. Hear that. You just sat there and lied already by saying something about you waited two weeks. I went straight after you said the health department came over there, so I don't want to hear nothing. You of that. waited two and weeks. You, you never didn't had bring no paperwork. paperwork. You didn't you bring had no, no paperwork, paperwork back, bro. supposedly. You had no paperwork. Mr. I had my you had papers. no paperwork at all. You didn't bring you had none. none at all. And, and you had all people up. know I care about and my kids. And you didn't kids. wake me up. And what I'm going to do to her my own child. I'm upstairs asleep, and you didn't wake me up. I take care of my kids by myself. You let a whole person, you let a whole person leave. What have you did? You let a whole person leave. What have you did? Any person that right mind would have walked did? upstairs what and walked me you up did? and brought me down there. What have but you did for my that. kids? You didn't do that. You out here telling me my baby killed You didn't do that, though. Did you? Did you carry did my you baby? Did you feel did you him inside of me? Did you do it? Did you no, have him ask no, no home? No, you didn't do it. Without him going with you? Do you know how that feel? You fake, Did you tell Steve you denied my baby? Um, I just want to clarify something. Uh, having an STD can cause serious problems for the baby, including yep. premature birth yep. and even death. My point is, I don't believe either one of you would get an STD so you could kill your baby. Okay. Exactly. Um, why, in your words, did you break up? Because he a cheater. He was cheating. I a left you. I left. With a girl. I left you. And my... I don't even talk to you. One of my friends. You said right told there and said, I don't want you no more. I you said, OK, what? cool. I'm going to just go backstage for a second, and I'll bring you back up. He says that... At, one point during the argument that you said you were going to kill this baby while you were pregnant. Steve, I can't even tell you where this boy made this argument up at. I'm just going to tell you. I had three prior kids to even being pregnant. I'm just going to go, oh, I'm going to kill my baby. I live, breathe everything my kids. I do everything for my kids myself. Why would I do something to harm? Oh, just this one child. But I already got one with you, so if I'm going to harm a child, why would I not do something to the one I already got with you that was already living? But then at the end of the day, I just had an incompetent service. I just couldn't hold him. And did the doctors ever explain to you why your son passed away? Yep. What did I they say? had an incompetent service. He okay. came early. He came early, and that caused complications. Ca he came, I was 21 weeks and 60 days when oh, I had Oh, okay, see, I didn't know that. He came early. He but came see, early. Mr. Don't, need, don't even know how far along I was, but you just, just good father of the year. He can't even tell you when his daughter's birthdays are. He can't tell you their middle name. He, I, he probably don't even know their last name. They got the same last name. <laughs> and that's just being all honesty. Now, he's saying that um, you're trying to control him with seeing the children that you ha this, he this, has to come to your house, that you won't let him This take is what them. he don't get. The, like I said, the situation came up. I ended up, I went over there to try to repo the car that my checks was getting garnished for. So if I'm paying my money and it's getting garnished, I'm going to, they told me if I repo it, I could, uh, they could stop the garnishment. So, like, get a car back so they can stop garnishing me. You keep talking about this, oh, it's ours, we co-sign, but they taking my money because I'm the only one to keep a stable job. 
So I tried to go get the car back. He came out the door. We got to fight and everything. He had to fight me and everything. Called the police, put me on trespass. Throwing trust punches? Back. Yes. We was on the, throwing each other from other people's cars to his car on the ground. We was everywhere. And then Who was willing? I beat him up. I, I gave him the business. I beat him up. He, he little. I gave him the business. He, he, he tried to hit me with the car. I almost broke my little leg. Like, my leg, I was limping the next day. But I gave him he the business. He hit you with the car? Yes. He, he was, I'm in front, standing in front of the car trying to get him not to pull off. He's pulling the car off. Like, with my leg, I'm just like, and he's gonna keep on going, just going, like, a, trying to hide the car before the police come. He got away, but then they caught him, like, 10 <laughs> minutes later, pulling down the street, and they ended up towing the car, and he went back and got it before the car locked to go get it. So he is, he's still hiding the car right now as we speak. So that's why he doesn't come to see my daughters, because he doesn't want to bring the car in front of my house <laughs> <laughs> to see my daughters. The reason why my daughters can't go with him is because he does not have a stable place to stay. He hops from female to female. The female that he is in with particular, I don't like her. It ain't about him, it's her. When he is with your children, is he good to your two kids? They love him. I can't take that from him. That's their daddy. I, and that's how you know I don't keep him from them. Is that then he keeps saying he ain't seen her since, seen them since November. This boy was just at my house on January 24th. <laughs> this boy was just sitting on my couch at my house with his beers, him and his family members, chilling, just on January 24th. He told my four-year-old daughter, I'm gonna come back and see you every day at 5.30. We ain't seen him since. <laughs> we ain't seen him since. Do you want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help. Let's uh, bring Cornelius back up. Now, you heard what she said. Yeah, I heard exactly what she and said. Let's, without yelling, she seems pretty level-headed. <laughs> For real. Just as a, you know... For real. ...neutral bystander here, <laughs> she strikes me as... First of all, it's She's gotta evil. be... evil. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Okay. I tell you. But here's the thing. It had to be very traumatic for her to lose the child, too, right? I watched him in my hand take his last breath but he while was, you over there But he was, he was 21, yeah. uh, 21 weeks. Any child is going to have complications if it's born that early. But you know what? When you say things like that, you can't, you can't uh, put it past nobody. On. Now, I ain't saying she did it, but you shouldn't have said it. Uh, of course. But, you know what I'm saying? But don't you have empathy for her for losing yes, the child? Yes, I do. That's why I was there. Every, every well, day, it's your I was child, there. too. Yeah, right. It's right. You're but supposed to some be people don't, denying him until he passed away, actually. You know what I mean? Some, some people don't be there for their kids. But that's wrong. You know what I mean? I'm there. When your child is born, you should right. be there, and right? I'm there. I okay. give him credit. He was and there I'm when there. all three of my kids you know were born, I mean? but that's about it. Uh, you came here and you took a lie detector test, and we asked you during Antoinette's pregnancy with your Can't child that it. passed away, did you have sexual intercourse with any other females? You said yes, you confessed. After your son passed away, did you take an STD test? You answered yes. You told the truth. Did your results come back all negative on that STD test? You answered yes. You told the truth. Okay. Yo, Taz, what? But you're still a Playing with me, man. Whatever. I'm gonna hear you that. You cheated. nasty, bro. I'm telling you that right you now, cheated. bro. But here's the point. You two are not together anymore. No, we never will be. You have children That's together, good, yeah. though. Yeah. And she is. I love my the, kids. And she's, right the, now. and she's the mother of those kids. Right, but for, for us, every time about me coming to get him, that's a lie, bro. Okay, she but came here good. and she took a lie detector test. And we asked her, while pregnant with your son that passed away, did you have any sexual physical contact with any other males besides Cornelius? She answered no. While pregnant with your son that passed away, did you have sexual intercourse with any other males besides Cornelius? She answered no. While pregnant with your son, that passed away, did you take any substance to induce labor? She answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Antoinette told the truth. Thank you. Thank They're you. They're good. They're good. So, thank you. They're good. So now all I want to do is co-parent, get yeah, off of Facebook, that's what I've been being a female. To do. Get up out of here, bro, because you, you the get one who, she started being a female, the Facebook stuff. But you don't want to cheat. I never said anything on that thing. But you don't want to cheat. Okay. So if the STD it. came about, it on, came from man. you, regardless. Nah, you admitted to cheat. I didn't cheat. So the STD came about, you had it. Now is the time for both of you rise above this, right? To be grown. Steve, I've been and did that. She won't stop, bro. I've been asked. I'm telling you. When I say I've been asked, I'm looking you in your face. I've been asked. You know what she told me? No. I'm not giving my kids. I'm not, you're not getting them. 
First of all, wherever I'm at, my kids is going to be His girl is more important than his kids. No, they not, because I, I, I'm thinking there about go. my kids every day. You, Like I said, you, you, you haven't seen them in two months. Because of her. No, because you, you know want them saying? around your girlfriend. No, 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 no. That's just where I'm at. It's not about just her. She thinks it's just about her. It's not about her. It sounds you know like saying? it's about her. He's not, he's, he's he's not, he's her until you find the next it's best not, thing to live. I'll say this. That's just for what she thinks. You know what? I mean, it's all good. They're only small ones. Right. Every day that you don't see your kids, is the day you don't get back. Right. And that's what I've been trying and to tell her. And it doesn't matter the reason. That's what I've been, listen, Steve. I hope it works that's, out that's, for her. Listen, that's what I've been trying to tell her. I know. I mean, it, she may seem like it's try to, good. Try to work a little wait, more wait. with her, okay? Man, I don't really want, all I want to do is get, have a bag ready so I come and get my, I don't need to talk to you.